Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cell here, and today we are going to be playing Lep's World. Alright, so we're gonna start learning the controls. So we can go left, we can go right, we can jump, and we can throw stuff. Sorry if I sound a little different or a little congested. I'm a little sick, so I don't sound my best today. So the object of the game is to try and get all three of the gold pots. Now I didn't realize what the object of the game was until after this first stage, but now that we know, we're going to try and get all of them. This game is kind of like Mario, the original like Super Mario game, which I love and enjoy. This one, however, the stage that I just played was awfully short. So the three clovers at the top represent the number of times that we are allowed to get hit before we actually die. We're going to be moving on to level 3, and I know we're, we're kind of speeding through this, but the levels are really, really short, like I said. They're not that difficult, and they're easy to pass. The bar with the leprechaun on it at the bottom, the one that keeps moving, it shows how far you've come within the stage and how much you have left to complete it. So you can shoot the acorns and at the very top right corner you can see how many acorns we have left. The blue diamonds are in case you die, it asks you if you want to keep playing for a certain amount of diamonds. Alright, we're in level 4 and we're going to keep playing. So far, I really enjoy this game. It's, like I said, very similar to the Mario game, except, you know, with the leprechaun and the stages are a lot shorter. The Viking hat is a gold rush, so there's a lot more coins that you can get when you click on the Viking hat. So as you can see, the leprechaun is flashing red and has a bubble around him. That is an indication of the gold rush. Alright, so we completed another level and we're going to go and move on to level 5. So the flag is just in case if you happen to die, it is there so that you go back to the place where the flag was so you don't have to start all over. But like I said, the stages are really short so it doesn't really make much of a difference. I think we're gonna cut it here and we're gonna keep on playing this game in another video. Thank you for watching Gaming with Cell and I will see you guys next time. Yeah.